we're going to talk about a few of what we consider to be the five fundamental laws of leadership. Now, the title of, of, of this seminar is the foundation or the fundamentals of team. What we know is that for there to be a team, there has to be a leader. There has to be somebody who steps up. And if it's done properly, everybody, everybody becomes a leader. There are five, five laws that we call fundamentals of leadership or team. First and foremost, a life of vision. We're going to talk a lot more about all of these, but this is not having a vision. This is creating a life of vision. This is living with purpose. And we're going to define that, talk about it, roll it around, look at it, analyze it, and get some steps in place for it. Master building people and relationships. We're going to spend a lot of time on that over the next two and a half days. If you're going to win, you have to understand that 99% of winning is learning to master building people, building people and relationships. You know, a lot of times, Matt and Cameron and I have talked about this in the past, a lot of times as, as young dentists uh, that we start to work with, uh, a lot of times what we'll hear from them is, you know, I just, I gotta have, I, I just haven't found the right people. I just haven't found the right people. I just haven't found the right people. And, and I, I agree with that. You know, the old saying goes, you can lose with good people, but you can't win without them, right? What we find, though, is that's a little bit misplaced. To be, to have great people, you have to understand that nobody's going to come in off the street and be that wonderful person. There's no such thing as the perfect employee, just like there's no such thing as the perfect boss, right? So you have to learn how to build people and build relationships. And from here on out, that's going to be your focus. Not only as the doctor and the leader of the ship, but as a frontline leader and somebody who takes ownership in your business, you've got to learn how to master that skill. Building people and the relationships. Creating a foundation of respect and integrity. And we're going to talk about that at great length. A culture of positive communication, which we're not going to talk about very much at all. And becoming the master of your domain. We're going to spend a lot of time on that. I've shared with some of you guys in the past that my belief is, not to get all religious on you, but my belief is that God has put us on this earth to have dominion. And that's what the Bible says. You know, God created man in his image to have dominion. And I believe that. And I also believe that about 98% of the humans that walk the face of the earth are not maximizing their ability to have dominion. Dominion over their circumstances, dominion over their situations, dominion over their finances, dominion over their relationships. As a matter of fact, there are five things that we would say that you have to have dominion over to be successful. And I would ask you to write these down. There are five things that you have to have dominion over. So one of those is, you have to have dominion over your own emotions. And these are in no particular order. Finances. Emotions. Finances. Physical body. you got to have dominion over your own physical body or you're not going to be able to master other things in your life. Relationships. If you can't master relationships, you can never have a team, and that's really just all there is to, to that. You just can't. You can't have a team personally in a marriage. You can't have a team professionally in a business if you don't learn to master relationships. Emotions physical body, finances, relationships, and time. We're going to talk about a few of those as well. Our goal at the Crabtree Group, and I speak for all of, of us and these, even those of us that are not here, our goal is at the end of the day 
to have you become a powerful person. And at the end of the day, if you're becoming powerful in your ability to master your body, your finances, your time, your relationships, your emotions, you have dominion. And then the rest of it, you know what? It's details. Reactivation calls, verbiage, plast, all that stuff. You know, hygiene reinstatement, all of the things that we're going to talk about are details, but this is the most important thing. If you have the ability, and that's what, our, that's what we see as our role is, is to give you what you need to be able to master those things, then you can have dominion.